what we need to do is go through every loss condition. And how should we do this? Should we put this all in C++ and like do like is condition met? And do like that in the level utils or something like that? Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, I think. Doing it all in blueprints might be a pain in the ass. Yeah, so if we do it this way, it should be good to go. Okay, that's good. So let's close this out and build that. Actually, let's just figure out how we do it. It'd be like the. Uh... basically got all the conditions that we'll be able to make.
Okay, so we're gonna need all sorts of stuff. So let's see, we're going to need to be able to get the time, we're going to need to get wins and losses, um, I guess, we'll just want to know, yeah, win doesn't, isn't going to do anything, loss isn't going to do anything. We're really going to be caring about some of these, so I should probably sort these into categories that matter and don't matter. So we're going to want to get our player state. So I think it's new dash can game instance get player controller. So we'll do our checks, we'll get our local player states, and let's see what we got for the player state. be gameplay stats oh come on I know there's goals all right so we don't have assists in here uh, it's that obviously needs to be in there. So let's go to our enums and add that in there. I can't believe I missed assists. Is playtime actually... Do we ever use this?
So we get all these guys, so slide hits, kicks, which is low hits, punches, which is high hits, ground pounds, ground pound hits, and then ground pound air hits. And what are these guys called? Are they called pop ups? Are they called defense? Yeah, they're called defend hits. All right, and then we have the exact same stuff, basically, except instead of ball touches, it's player touches. Do we have run into wall stats? Um, we have on wall hit being called. Uh, and we don't have anything on it, so I guess that's going to be on our gameplay stats. So we'll do wall hits, obstacle touches, jumps, and lands. I guess we can also get touch attempts. So we already have them.
just just being angry at things. So, all right, we've got the wall hits. And we're going to need those touch attempts. All right, so we'll have wall, wall hits, jumps, lands, obstacles touched. Obstacle touches, jumps and lands. Now we've also got one here that will be touch attempts. All right, let's add those enums. Get this built. Oh man, sudden death. Gotta go score. <laughs> it's pop up only. <laughs> and slow ball and stealth crouch. What even is this game? Slow ball scores the goal. Looks like they finally uh, worked around that login issue for their backers from Maelstrom. Which, they, the workaround's really dumb. Like, it has to do with this like account linking deletion thing. So their workaround is that they like made a second product. And then they unlink your account and relink it. So basically just instead of deleting accounts you're basically just like making new ones for them for a different product and doing this like stupid ass dance be like well you can't delete your account but um 
you can change your username and then make a new account with um you know your old username <laughs> it's just like wait, wait what it's like yeah computers are stupid what the hell is going on with that balls particle system Is that the other thing that you might be able to do here is shoot from down here on this level? I feel like something's really messed up with this. This level specifically right now. Or that ball is screwed up. I'm going to have to do something about this physics. What's it complaining about? Cannot convert from A player state? Yeah. Well, it's supposed to be a cast. Like that. Not like a cast you wear, but you get the point. Oh man, I just love that article about teachers getting baseball bats and to confront shooters. It's, it's like, yeah, guys. Okay, guys. Um, if somebody comes in your classroom, would you just get the mini miniature baseball bat and you just beat the shit out of him? You just you just take that bat, and you just shove it right in his eye socket until he dies. Um, you know there are better weapons than that if you want to arm people. It's like, what are you concerned about? It's like, and why a miniature baseball bat? They have, they have things that are good for, for smacking people. They're called billy clubs, and they're illegal in most areas. <laughs> you know, it's called a sap. It's what people used to walk around with all the time when you're your town guard. It's got, you know, ah, he's dealing with a drunk. You know, pull, instead of pulling out his sword or mace, he pulls out the, the wooden club, beat the shit out of you with that.
All right, so um, touch of tips, obstacle touches, jump slams, all this crap. And we got our enums in there. So we have our values. We then need to switch on our comparison. Excuse me. Okay, so what we want to do is if our value is equal to threshold, return true. Okay, so uh, this is, I don't want to accidentally screw things up, so let's not have a thing. These are all ors. Not like ors used in a boat, but you know, logical ors. Those are different. Being pedantic with some of this crap. Okay, so that'll do all those logical things. It'll snag our values. We don't have our time though. So I think we need our player state to keep track of time. Is there like a begin play for your player state? Let me just go check. It is an actor, so we should have a begin play. But what we probably should have is some sort of Yeah, right here in the reset is what we should be doing.
So what I think it's the um, we need to go to our time utils and we need to get level time F and that should take into account any pausing that we do for this thing. And this is going to be now minus the local player state, gameplay stats, level start time. I think that should do it. Alright, we'll at least have our worn log in there for this stuff that we haven't done yet. Because I need a meta level stats then. That's separated from the player state because, you know, if we go between levels and stages and everything else, we're going to have a big problem. I'm going to have to do that for missions as well. So I'm going to have to have like some mission stuff and then a mission reset and time and all this other shit. Oh no, it's angry with me because of a scope. No, then I will just make a scope. Score a few goals while we're waiting for this to compile. Why did I jump?
let's take a look at things. All right, so our conditions should actually be respected now uh, for missions. So what we can do is we can actually go implement um, checking these and ending the mission, which is great. You know, it looks like they're pushing out their update to Steam, and everybody's doing their thing. Okay, so if we go into arena level, just got it. Everything works good. I hope I hope everything works for their fix, because it's always like when you're screwing around with a bunch of account crap, all of a sudden. I mean, I guess it's good that they don't have microtransactions and they're actually deleting the data. Right? That's easy. You know. All right, so this is level utils. Is condition met? All right, so four stages. This will be our condition, our threshold, and our comparison. So this is has lost stage. So if this is like this, then we are going to return. You lose. <laughs> people are people are complaining about completely unrelated things. Is this gonna fix this? Um, no. In fact, that's not a bug. That monster is killing you because you suck. But... But... But nothing. Get out of here, scrubs. Okay, so we need to do has one stage. So I'll grab the current stage, and we're going to go through all of the win conditions. And let's see, for wins, wins I think it's an and, right? You need a certain number of things. So you need like five goals and five hits or something. That's fine. Losing would be like, if you take 120 seconds, or the AI scores five goals on you, or you have 100 touch attempts. So this is just um, win conditions, and all of these have to be true. So uh, what we're going to do for that is, come on, I want to delete the fucking variable. Um, So basically, if this is false, um, if this condition is not true, then we're going to return that you have not won. So has one will be true for that. So if there's no conditions, it'll just say you win. So that's good. So 
So we need to go to our update function for the level. So update in stage. So break games, exit cutscene, stage is finished. All right, so we won't play the cutscene unless we win, of course. Has won, has lost. <laughs> we can play a cutscene for losing. You lost. You died, motherfucker. All right, so if we have won, then we advance to victory. Otherwise, we're going to check if we've lost, and if we lose, we're going to go to post stage. We're currently not able to enter a match even with six plus one. Uh oh. Uh oh. They're having problems. They're all stuck finding matches. Oh shit. That's gonna be a build issue, isn't it? Hello, Alexi Dev. How goes it? Paint.net. Oh, what are you talking about? Paint.net's the best, the best thing ever. It's like, uh, it's a program that you can. You can draw things in, right? With a, with a, like that? Like, you can make drawings? I'm a, I'm an artist, right? I can do things. I use paint.net because I'm a scrub and don't know how to use anything else. Because I don't know how to use any art tools. Alright, the, uh... So we have the exit cutscene for the missions. Uh, did we get has lost? Has got that proper? Has won? That looks right. So what is our win condition right now for a mission? <laughs> you can't use it because Linux. Yeah, well, that's that's good. You gotta you gotta go compile paint.net from source, right? You need to port it over there and write your own driver for your pen. Okay, so we have the game mode options. The actions are there. Win conditions right now we've got goals greater than or equal to five. Loss conditions are time greater than or equal to one hundred. So uh, what I want to do is update in stage. Let's actually log this out. Mission is over. Victory. Actually, yeah, win, loss, and everything else. Well, wins don't matter. Like, wins don't exist. Because we would need like something else. Anyway, don't worry. My mission is over. Defeat. All right, post stage. No, it's not post stage. It's post mission, isn't it? So let's set the post mission. If you lose. No, it is post stage, and post stage will go to post mission. All right, so five goals. Let's see if it, uh, let's boot it up and see if it's checking anything reasonable. All 
right, so start the mission. And start. So we're in the mission. Mission is over. Defeat. Oh, God. Why have I lost? So much losing going on. Actually, no. I put that in the wrong spot, didn't I? Yeah. It is like such... Start mission, start stage. All right, let's go to our conditions. So, for stage, threshold is five, condition is goals. We have no goals. Comparison, uh, we might need more than just goals. We might need everybody on your team goals. I haven't thought about that. All right, well, we have to score five goals, but the um, there are no balls. We are, we are ballless, so we can't score goals. But can we lose? Let's see if we can lose. We'll just have to wait. Oh, we're waiting. Let's score a goal. Fifteen seconds. There we are. Post stage. We lost. Excellent. Lexi Dev, we use Perforce. So post mission is there, and uh, we can go to pre stage, except. We can't do jack shit there because we haven't hooked it up. Oh no, it's totally busted. All right, that's what we're working on. So we need to actually have this thing spawn balls. So let's go to our event graph. Yeah, we use Perforce. We started off using Get because Get is just superior if you're working with engineers for a lot of projects. Um, we switched to Perforce because Git large file storage was not working nicely with tools that um, would be nice for Adam to use. And Adam does not have much game development experience, especially when we started this project, he had about nothing. So he didn't even know what version control was. And to start him off with Git, 
was not working very well at all. So switch to Perforce and uh, since we have less than five users and less than 20 client specs, it's free. So, hey, there's that. And uh, we just host it on our own server on AWS and works great. Haven't had to screw around with it or do anything too crazy. So where's our update? Update level. Um, let's see, update in-game. We have this server ensure ball spawn. All right, so we just need to call server ensure ball spawn. Let's try to make this a little bit, uh, what am I doing? I can't click to save my life. Did it blow his mind? It, yeah, the idea of using version control is still something that hasn't really clicked, I think. But um, the Git stuff didn't blow his mind. It just pissed him off. Because stuff just wouldn't work, right? You'd use large file storage and he'd be like, I don't have files, I have you know, the files are empty. They just have a hash in them. Or, you know, he wouldn't say hash. He'd say they're just, like, full of trash. And, you know, I'd be like, well, what do you mean? He'd be like, well, did you run that command? He'd be like, what what command? Like, I did the I did the pull thing, and I clicked the button. I'm like, well, you need to run this, and then that'll turn him into that. And he's like, I... I we did his best. But at the end of the day, it's like, this is an exercise in not doing anything useful. All right, so this should help us by making sure that we spawn balls. Yeah, okay, I need these set pre-mission. Yeah, the thing with Git is it's really good if you're just dealing with code. Like, um, my preference is I like to use Git whenever I can because it works super well with code. Just like merging is super easy, the tools are great for it, and um, editors work real well with it and don't do anything. It's like, great, if it's code, just deal with the merge conflicts and um, deal with it. But for artists and art, I, if, if I had like a, if I had a 10 person studio and I had, yeah, <laughs> the GitHub guys use it for things like document. Yeah, I, I, they use it for everything, you know, like, I'm going to go to the store. Oh, yeah, you know, I'll just pull my shopping list from whatever. And, you know, the wife can merge her shopping list with mine and do, you know, some octopus funky times. It's just like, fuck. Just write the fucking shopping list. But if I had, like, a... There's kind of, like, a small, a small team of, like, five people. If there's artists, use Perforce. Just deal with it. Um, if it's like 10 people, if they're, you know, if they're all engineers, just use Git. If it's like 10 people, use Perforce. If it's like 20 people and you have like a small team that does its own shit, you might have like some of the coders use their Git stuff and then everybody else use Perforce. But on like a 60 person team, I would use both Perforce and Git probably where I'd have artists check into Perforce, artists and designers check into Perforce. So you have all the file locking and nice stuff. And then have the engineers check in to get and deal with all that bullshit. 
and then have automated build tool systems to do all the merging and checking stuff in and have tools that you know, sync it all up properly for your art, art dudes. You can't think in programming. Well, that's pretty much what programming is, is the process of learning to code is literally just the process of rewiring your brain to think more logically. And by logically, you know, I'm talking about like actual logic, not like in terms of in terms of more intelligently. <laughs> it's like, no, you learn how to process things at face value. Which leads to lots of frustration with Adam where he'll say, like, oh yeah, I did the thing. You know, I did that thing you told me. I'll be like, what what are you what are you talking about? I have no fucking clue what you're talking about. Be like, you know, the thing I told you you told me to do. I'd be like, uh, no, doesn't compute. And he'd be like, I just checked in the mock-up for the UI. Oh, okay, thanks. Just like, he's like, God, you fucking asshole. I just trying to tell you I did something. It's like, no, sorry, no, I, I don't know what that was. That's one thing. Uh, changing workflows what I found with changing workflows is you don't actually need to change your workflow most of the time you just need to like tell somebody you'll do it eventually or that they need like some migration strategy and by the time it rolls around they'll have figured out another damn thing they want you to do alright so loading stage pre-stage Uh, post stage cutscene, do the same thing, just blow up all the balls everywhere. Post stage, blow up the balls. And post mission cutscene. Post mission. Trash everything. Yeah, it was kind of the thing at um at Amazon, especially when I was there on Amazon Game Studios. They switched project planning software just like every four months because somebody would come up with something. They'd be like, oh, you know, Jira is so annoying. We should use this other thing. And then, you know, be like, oh, you know, they get critical mass of people saying, yeah, sure. Why not? There are the balls. I need to score five times. 